Good afternoon and welcome to Just Bach. This is our second virtual concert of the third season. I am Sarah Braley and I'm one of the co-founders and artistic directors of the series. I would be remiss if I didn't start with a big thank you to Luther Memorial Church for letting us use this beautiful space, to Pastor Brad Pullman and to music director Andrew Schaefer. And also a thanks to our videographer, Dave Parmenter, for helping us to adapt to the challenges of the pandemic. We miss being here in person with all of you, but we are so happy to have a, a way to share Bach with you still in this time. As is always the case with Just Bach, viewing these concerts is free, but we ask those who are able to uh, make a donation on our website so we can help pay our musicians. The donations are tax deductible, and if you choose to write a check, you may do that, but please be sure to make it out to our fiscal sponsor, Bach Around the Clock. And then you can email us at justbachseries at gmail.com to find out where to send that check. We hope that you will also join our mailing list so we can keep you in the loop about our future concerts. I only send one a month about the upcoming concerts so we won't clog your inbox. And you can sign up for that on our, mailing, on our website excuse me, at justbach.org. This afternoon, we are delighted to welcome some friends to Just Bach today, the period string quartet Sonata a Quattro. Violinist Christine Helpley Annan and violinist Nathan Giliorano will be joined by our co-founder, Marika Fischer-Hoyt on viola, and cellist Charlie Rasmussen. And a familiar face to Just Bach, organist Mark Brampton-Smith will also be accompanying them. The opening piece in this concert is from Cantata 146, the Sinfonia, which features a dazzling organ part. Uh, Bach composed this cantata in the late 1720s and then later adapted it for his harpsichord concerto in D minor, BWV 1052. The title of the cantata, depending on your belief system, may be a little bit on the nose for our current time. The German is Wir müssen durch viel Trübsal in das Reich Gottes eingehen, which translates to, we must pass through great sadness that we, God's kingdom, may enter. So I think this is definitely a time of great sadness. But luckily, the cantata goes from sorrow to joy, and we'll end the program today all singing together on the joyful final chorale, Freu dich sehr, o meine Seele. So I will lead you in that at the end. Sandwiched in the middle are some fantastic Bach solo pieces that you'll hear uh, Sonata a Quattro play as solo movements. First, we'll hear, hear Marika play the first uh, minuet one and two from the cello suite in G major. And then Charlie will play the courant from that suite. Following that, Christine will play the adagio from the violin sonata in G minor and then Nathan will play the presto. And Nathan has filmed his from home um, out, of, out of an abundance of caution, and so we look forward to hearing him later. I think that's it, so please stay tuned for the rest of the program, and thanks again for joining us.
Thank you.
thanks again to Sonata Aquatro for joining us today for a spectacular performance. And thank you also to violinist Leanne Lee, who played Tutti Violin on the Sinfonia of Cantata 146. We end today's program with the closing chorale from that cantata. I will speak through the German to get that in your ear, and then I'll give you the translation. And then Mark will play through it once, so you know how the tune goes, and then we'll all sing it together. You'll see the music scrolling at the bottom of your screen. So here's the German text. Freu dich sehr, o oh meine Seele, und vergiss all Not und Qual. Weil dich nun Christus, dein Herr, ruft aus diesem Jammertal. Aus Trübsal und großem Leid sollst du fahren in die Freud, die kein Ohr hat gehört und kein Ewigkeit auch wert. And that translates to Rejoice greatly, O my soul, and forget all distress and torment. For now Christ your Lord summons you out of this veil of tears. Away from this tribulation and great sorrow, you shall journey unto that joy, which no ear has ever heard, and which endures beyond eternity. So Mark will play it once, and then we'll all sing it together. Thanks again to Sonata Aquatro, to our guest violinist, Leanne Lee, to Mark, our fabulous organist, as always, for being here, and to Luther Memorial for this beautiful space. I hope you can join us again next month for our next installment of Just Bach. And in the meantime, stay healthy and stay safe. Take care, everyone. <laughs>